hello guys today we will see how to create small scale realistic fire in houdini as you can see on my screen i have made this in houdini and as you can see we have all these small kind of breakings and all so let's dive into houdini and see how to achieve this So here first we need to take a box node let's adjust the size here on the x we will keep it to 0 0.15 on the y we will keep it to 3 and on the z we will keep it to 0 0.1 so we will have this kind of box here vertical box now we will use match size node to bring it on the grid and then we will use a scatter node here and we will scatter around 20 to 1000 points now i will use a tool called slingshot which is developed by my friend henry so here i will go on the slingshot and effect go in pyro and i will choose pyro setup menu here i have to we are going to create a fire so i will use burn fuel a temperature method and we are we will use the classic dop since we are not going for the sparse or soft solver so i will click on create i will click the node and i will click on create it will create all the basics node for me on just a one click and you can see it will be like this and so if you don't have this tool then i'm going to tell you what this tool have done here so first we don't need velocity here in that pyro source it have created three attributes called fuel temperature and burn since we don't need burn attribute because we are using classic dop which will be our pyrus solver so first thing we need to change here is this particle separation let's keep it to 0 0.05 and we have to remove this burn now we have just fuel and temperature now if i go and turn on this rasterize we don't have any breakups here like this all are constant but in my uh, this we have some kind of nice noise which is breaking the source so we will do the same thing here also we will use attribute noise node for this and one thing that i like to use here is the old attribute noise so we have to go back to older version of attribute noise so here you can see i am getting this name and path if you don't have the access for this you can go on the asset asset manager configuration and you have to choose this assess definition toolbar and set this to so many always then you will get this here we have to choose attribute noise the older one now here we have to choose signature as 1d and we have to add fuel and temperature now if i visualize this it is still constant we have to use remap and we will keep this value to negative 3 to 4 and we will turn on animated as well here let's increase this to maximum now on the pulse duration we will keep it to 0.3 and the element size will be 0.2 so we will have something like this you can increase the offset as per on your need and set the roughness to 0.7 now on the volume rasterize attribute you can see we have some breakups here but the problem is the voxel size is too big right now let's decrease this to 0 
now you can see we have a much better voxel size now if i go in dop and if i play this let's turn on the simulation okay so the problem is the division size is too big let me decrease this to 0 0.02 now you can see our but we don't see a fire here it is happening because on the visualization we have only enable density by default let's turn it off and turn on multi field go on the multi tab here on the density field right density on the diffuse field as well we will keep density only on the emission scale let's set the value to 100 and on the emission field we will use heat and on the emission color field we will use temperature let's turn on this emission color range and keep it to 40 now also you don't see anything it is because on the volume source we don't have fuel going here so let's delete this volume source and we will create our own volume source and we will here we have to choose source fuel so it will create fuel temperature and velocity since we don't have velocity here we will remove this keep it to first context geometry now you can see we have the fuel here now we have to set the shapes and all the things so let's start that first go on the simulation tab here on the time scale we have to keep the time scale as 0 0.025 and on the temperature diffusion let's reduce the value to 0 0.005 decrease the cooling rate as well so let's keep the value 0 0.6 viscosity so let's add 0 0.01 very small amount of viscosity the main thing is buoyancy lift let's increase this to 10 and we will add uh, some x buoyancy but it will be very less like 0 0.1 now if i play this as you can see the flames is slightly going toward the x-axis since we have added slight buoyancy direction now let's go in combustion tab here on the ignition temperature keep that value to zero increase the burn rate to one which will be it will burn the fuel hundred percent it won't keep anything and on the fuel inefficiency let's keep it to zero temperature output will be 1.5 and the gas release will be 8 now if i play this it will look something like this since as you can see the flame heights are too big right now let's reduce the flame height so if you go on the flame tab you can see the flame height let's keep it to 0.6 and here we have to remap the field so you can see remap heat cool field here on the cooling field range we will keep it to 0 to 2 and here we will adjust the ramp something like this and we will make this uh, interpolation to cat down let's increase this little bit yeah cool ah now uh, you can go on the smoke tab and we don't need some highly dense smoke so we will turn this off and here on the heat cutoff we will use 0 0.1 the blend amount will be 0 0.8 now you can see the flame height will be not that much big it will be small but uh, since we don't have any dissipation here it is going till upward only so what we'll be do is we will go on the save tab and the save we will increase the dissipation value to 0 
we will add some disturbance as well which will be 0 0.0 1.25 we will use threading as well the use of that parameter that it will add some small details like this you can see the breaking of the fires so you can see the small streaks the breakups and all we are getting because of this threading let's keep this value to 0.2 this will add some fine detail to the smoke so let's keep this value to 0.5 only let's add some turbulence and keep the value to 0.3 this confinement will add uh, this will enhance the swirling and curling motion of the smoke so let's keep this value to 6 now if i play this it will look like this still the flames are going up so we have to do few things on the sub parameter of this shapes so in the disturbance currently it is disturbing the velocity field but we need to disturb the temperature field so we will choose temperature here and the cutoff value will be 0.9 here on the block size we will use 0.6 now go on the binding tab and here we have to choose heat field now we have to go on the threading tab and we will increase the sparse size to 2 and stretch size we will decrease this to 0 0.25 now we have to go in turbulence tab and decrease the soil size to 0 0.75 and increase the turbulence to 3 now this all done we have to, to do the main thing as increase the minimum substrate to 2 and maximum to 3 now if i play this it will look like this now it is highly detailed now we have to add micro solver so let's add a merge node on the last second input was text boost node this node will enhance the rotational movement of the smoke and flames so here on the swirl size we will keep it to very low amount like 0 0.15 and the boost we will increase it to 60 we'll turn off this target now we will go on the binding tab since we don't have density field we will use temperature here and in the advance i will turn on the open cell since i have a good gpu if you don't have then you don't need to turn this on let's turn off this visualization now i will use another micro solver called gas disturb and here also i will use the older one uh, gas disturb and let's decrease the disturbance to 0.5 and the cutoff will be 7.5 and we will use small amount of block size which will be 0 0.03 again in, in the advanced tab i will enable the open cl now i will use gas wind the last node and i will keep all the parameters default only here i need to turn on add one more node called gravity now if i play this our simulation will look like this on this dop net it won't look good here if we come since on the dop import field we don't have a heat field here so let's import the heat as well let's keep it invisible and we will use heat so now it will convert all the volume into vdb using pyro post process node and here we can use bake volume node and we will turn off smoke and on the fire we will turn on fire 
now it looked like this it is happening since on the this the intensity is also temperature and color is also a temperature so instead of uh, temperature on the intensity we will use heat here now you can see it will look much mm, better let's uh, play few frames and see how the behavior is as you can see here we are getting all the small mm, details here instead of playing i will cache this out so i will save it to dix i will keep only 160 frames so I will save this and save this. One main thing that I forgot to tell that in the external force we have to exclude the gravity. We have to put this sign and we have to gravity. On the projection we will use two iterations for the multi grid and here uh, since the simulation was a bit slow so i will use use open cl here one thing that i figure out that we can optimize this setting as well so i will keep the padding size to 0 0.25 and the subtract threshold to 0 0.6 and the upper padding scale i will keep it to point to on all the axis and lower padding scale on the y axis i will keep it to point one so setting works for me and the simulation happened in only one minute for 160 frames so so it is not visible right now can see the simulation is pretty fast right now instead of playing i will cache this out 